Hey, it's Sean from P2R. Today we got an exciting one. We got a P51 Mustang J35 engine that we built here. Robert Gooch came down from Virginia. We're gonna get this thing running. We got Hobby Tune in the building. It's gonna be a good one. We're back at this thing. Back at it. You're changing, man. 20. You went from cars to car boats to now motor engines. I mean, plane, plane engines. engines. Yeah, that's you're changing, man. Nah, you're, you're changing. changing. The world is changing. <laughs> <laughs> the world is changing. It is showtime. Showtime. Man. Showtime. Showtime. All right. How are we going to get this thing powered up? Sean, you got to stay back, bro. Do not get sucked in the propeller. Right here? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm seeing this thing's on. It's more to combat now. All right. Get her fuel above her. All right. So, what's the starting procedure you have to do to make sure everything is good? Well, well, one thing we need to tighten is fitting right here. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. Of course, I made it. We've already checked the wheel for gas for everything else. Hobby's got the tune done. Did you give him a little rundown yet, or what are we gonna do that? Yeah. What's the rundown on this thing? What are you looking for for? Just an overview. So we've got a Honda J-Series engine that uh, Sean has put together and it should be ready to go. Avi's gonna get the tune done on it. I think we've got all the major systems checked out from fuel to hydraulics to uh, water. Everything should be good to go. We're getting ready to do our first start, so. Any leaks? Nope. Oh, we got 20 pounds. Let me get an Allen. How much? 20. 20. Oh, we need more. About yeah. what, G? 40 PSI? 40. Standard across all Hondas? Pretty much, yeah. Mm -hmm. Almost all cars, too. Huh? I said around like 43 or so. Yeah, that's fine. That's crazy. I can't wait to hear how this thing sounds. What is this made out of? It's a. Uh, fiberglass composite that they make in Czechoslovakia. Oh. And then the uh, hub is assembled and uh, manufactured here in the U.S. So. Can you um, do it again? Yeah. Holy smokes. I don't know. I might have to um turn it turn it back on do it again. Yeah. That little bit goes from 40 all the way to 60. Turn it off. Honestly, yeah, I don't know. No, I'm just kidding. So it's it's actually very rich. Uh, I took away some fuel and didn't seem to really respond. So I want to check timing, make sure she's good, and 
we'll go from there. I Boy, can't. that was kind of, that was more intense than the first ones. <laughs> holy, uh, holy crap. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you got it? That was intense. My, my uh, tube is I, I went to do that. I'm getting like, I can't yeah. even. Hold on, I'm up front, I, okay? Yeah, no, no, no. Pull that, pull it again. What's happening? Why does it sound like we got so much fuel? Okay, so what are we doing, boys? What's going on? Cam sensor is wired in wrong. So we're switching out the pins and. Should be good from there, yeah? Should be good. Good old PJ so, sent us a little diagram, but. Um, Cam position sensors, so we're Shout just gonna go ahead and follow that and um, get it right. Sweet. Let's see if I can deep in it. Let's get it, boys. Really? Yeah. All right, try. Let's see. Right, all the way in and clear. Clear for takeoff. Oh, battery's dead. And battery's dead. Wow, wow, wow. And right. the engine starts, you take the cable off. Never sounded. Yeah, that was very nice. <laughs> so I think the coils and the uh, injectors are pinned correctly. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, I would assume so. I'm just saying. <laughs> All right, so the temperature being so uh, cool and temp. Yeah. Well, the system needs to probably properly bleed still. Does it have a thermostat in it? It has a thermostat. It has a thermostat, but it has no bypass. So it's going to be hot until it opens. Oh, wow. I don't know what temperature it opens How come? At. How come Let's there's see. no bypass? I didn't design the system, so I can't tell you. Sean, when, when is it supposed to open at what temperature? I don't know, but I assume it's 180 degrees. Well, we're almost there. We're almost there, but we haven't hit it yet, so we didn't actually circulate into the radiator yet. Well, the radiator's hot, so you the temperature of the radiator. So I think, I haven't pulled this apart, but it may be a little small hole. I would guess it. that it's got some sort of bypass holes in it so that it keeps on trying to, yeah, something. Something goes through, right. and then when the engine needs it, it goes ahead and opens, opens up. Now, oh, we only got to 180, you said, right? Now, are these the hoses that you normally use, or they're bigger on the plane? No, these, this is exactly the, the hose that Set I up. use. Yeah, and then this goes, this is where the firewall hits. So this goes through the firewall, and then the uh, coolant uh, radiator is like back here. So it goes all the way back, and it comes all the way back.
they're on a plane. I just think I heard a Jason <laughs> car driving out to the <laughs> open headed. Yeah, yeah. do testing mm -hmm. um, I actually tie it to my car and I've got a pole that goes through the airplane and I've got two uh, 120 pound weights one on each side that I crank it down so that the tail can't come up okay so how long does it take you to put this thing in there a day oh, wow. so I can't fly it in a day but I can have no. it mounted and yeah it takes another day. Where's the plane? Uh, Richmond, Virginia. Oh, I'm Virginia. Yeah, and you're going to Maryland, right? I am. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds like a plan. And that sounds my, like a plan. He's my second driver too. That sounds like a plan. We're going to Virginia. Yeah, and then yes. What are we eating? So, Robert. Yes. How does it sound compared to before? It's smooth. I love it. So. That's awesome. Yeah. No, it definitely sounds. I mean, I haven't heard the other engines up close with the uh, previous ECU, but it sounds really good. It just, and it, it's almost like a factory vehicle in a way, you know? Obviously it's louder because of the exhaust, but outside of that, I think it sounds like it's running great. It's running great and it's scary it runs so good. Um, <laughs> when it starts lifting the back of the truck, um, you know you got it. So, and Javi, you did a great job. Thank you. <laughs> so. Awesome. And you did a great job. I guess the next step is to get in the plane and, um, Seat yeah. in the air. <laughs>